Hello, welcome to Board with Paint. Today I'll be showing you how to paint the female monk from the Path of the Wandering Monk expansion for Hero Quest. I've already prepped the miniature and primed it entirely in white, so let's get started. As usual, we'll start off with the skin, this time beginning with Resurrection Flesh from Scale Color. We'll then move on to the pants, covering it with a coat of light green gray from Vallejo Model Color. For the lighter green color on the robes, I'm using Surfer Orc Flesh from Scale Color. If you're also using Scale Color paints, you'll notice that the coverage isn't that great. So you'll probably require one to two additional coats. Next, we'll give her hair a base coat of black gray. Off camera, I also use this color to paint her staff. And finally, for the rest of the cloak, we'll use Dark Sea Blue. The artwork doesn't show beneath her knees, so I've just decided to use the same color on her boots. I'm returning to the black gray and applying this over the thing that's hanging on her hip. I really don't know what it is. It appears to be something metal though. So we use this as an undercoat for the metallic paint. Now I'm returning to the light green gray and using this to pick out some of the wrappings that are on the upper parts of the boot. For her belt, I've decided to use Brown Rose from Vallejo Model Color. Now I'll add some shade to the miniature 
by applying some Butan Green from Citadel over all of the green areas that we've already painted. We'll want to allow this to sink down into the recesses and provide some extra depth for those areas. Once the wash is completely dry, we can go back in with our base color, the light green gray, and do some highlighting on her knees. Here I'm being sure to leave the Beal Tan green in some of the areas I want to be completely in shadow. Now I'm going around to the wraps around the boots and picking those out again just to give them a little bit of highlight. Now back to surfer orc flesh to do the lighter portions of the cloak. We'll hit any parts of the cloak that are facing upwards or the tops of any of the folds. Now we'll create a highlight color by mixing in a little of the light green gray with the surfer orc flesh. Next we'll apply this over all the same areas, covering slightly less amount of the miniature each time. We'll lighten it a little further with the addition of some of the light gray-green. And now we'll cover an even smaller area at the tops of the highlights that we've already added. To highlight the dark parts of the cloak, I'm mixing surfer orc flesh with the dark sea blue to create a highlight color.
I'm keeping this fairly thin and applying it over a few layers before adding more surfer orc flesh to lighten it even further. And we don't want to forget to highlight the tops of the boots with this as well. Next, we'll highlight the belt by mixing some brown rose with some AK Interactive Off-White. This is my first time using the AK Interactive paint, and I've been pretty impressed with it so far. You'll see me use it more when I do the Mail Monk in my next video. For these highlights, I'm trying to keep to the upper portions of the belt and the folds that are facing upwards. And here I'm mixing a little more Off-White in to lighten it further. And here we'll add just a touch more of the off-white to create our highest level of highlight. Now we'll go to Karaburg Crimson from Citadel and use this to shade the recesses of the belt. We don't want this to be slathered all over the place. We're only trying to pick out the shadow areas. Before we highlight the skin, we'll do the whites of the eyes with some off-white. Next I did the pupils and an outline around the eyes with black-gray. Sorry I didn't get this on camera. You can see it's a big mess. Now we go in with the resurrection flesh and just clean everything up. We want to try to get a nice thin black line around the whites of the eyes. Once we're happy with the eyes, we'll move on to highlighting the flesh by mixing some off-white in with the resurrection flesh. Here I'm keeping to the upper portions and trying to pick out all of the fingers. To increase the depth of the shadows in between the fingers, 
I'm sparingly applying some Reichland flesh shade into those recesses. We'll also use this to darken her lips. Once we're happy with the skin, we'll move on to highlighting the hair by mixing our off-white in with black-gray and applying short strokes all across the hair. We're not really following the sculpt at this point, we're just trying to give the impression of a volume of hair. We'll progressively lighten this with more off-white to give the impression that the light is hitting the hair. Continue applying those short strokes. Each time we lighten the color, try to make those strokes even shorter and thinner. You can see we're starting to get pretty bright here. I like to overdo the highlights a bit and then tone it down with black paint. The key here is to have strokes that are distinct from one another and that partially overlap the layer in the previous step. Here's a little more off-white being added in, and I think this is my highest level of highlight here. Now to bring it way back down, I'm thinning down some decay black and brushing this over the hair, still using those same strokes, but this time I'm focusing in the recesses wherever I can. And I'm also overlapping some of the areas that I've already painted. At this point, I like to go back and forth between the black and different shades of gray to give the hair more volume. And I'll do this over and over until I feel like it looks good. Here I'm returning to a lighter shade of the gray and using this to highlight the staff. I ran into some camera problems at this point. I didn't realize I had bumped it into a different position. It gets fixed in a little bit. For the ends of the staff, I'm doing a base coat in Tinny Tin from Vallejo Game Color. Then I'm giving the container that's on her hip a base coat of lead belcher. Once the ends of the staff are dry, I'm applying a dry brush of retributor armor to give a gold tone to that part of the staff. And as always in this series, since this is a hero, we'll be painting the base in Hall Red. The container on her hip is getting a small highlight of silver. And as an optional final step, I'm going in with Citadel's Non Oil and just emphasizing some of the shadows and separations between different materials. These dark lines will help provide contrast and allow you to pick out the different details of the miniature from a distance on the table. And that concludes The Female Monk. Thank you for watching Board with Paint. If you enjoyed this video, thought it was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like it. If you want to see more content from me, 
You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll sometimes post things there about works in progress. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, happy painting.